Hello friends. Welcome back to our channel. Nature has always been a master of disguise, concealing its incredible creations with an array of stunning camouflage and invisibility tactics. From the depths of the ocean to the lush forests and even the skies above, various species have evolved remarkable abilities to hide from predators and look like invisible. Today we will discuss 10 invisible animals in the world. Number 10 Oak Leaf Butterfly It is a nymphalid butterfly found in tropical Asia from India to Japan. With wings closed that the oak leaf butterfly showcases one of the most mesmerizing forms of camouflage. With wings that closely resemble a dried-up leaf, this butterfly effortlessly blends into its surroundings, making it incredibly challenging to spot by predators. Its intricate wing patterns mimic the veins and textures of a genuine leaf, proving that nature's artistry knows no bounds. The orange oak leaf is a powerful flyer and usually flies in dense forests with good rainfall, amongst undergrowth, and along stream beds. Number 9 The Right-Eyed Flounder The depths of the ocean harbor creatures that demonstrate unparalleled expertise in blending in. Its natural habitat is the tropical waters of the Indo-West Pacific, from Bali to Indonesia and the southwest coast of India. The right-eyed flounder, for instance, exhibits a unique asymmetrical body structure that allows it to lie flat on the ocean floor. Its upper side, which faces upwards, has a mottled appearance resembling sandy seabeds, while its underside possesses a light coloration to match the sunlit waters above. This incredible adaptation allows it to vanish in plain sight. Number 8. The Buff Tip Moth Taking camouflage to a whole new level, the buff tip moth takes on the guise of a broken twig. Its distinctive appearance, with a prominent buff-colored tip on its wings, gives the illusion of a snapped twig, rendering it virtually invisible against the bark of trees. A night-flying moth, this amazing creature can be seen between May and July. This moth is a testament to the intricate interplay between evolutionary pressure and ingenious adaptations. Number 7. The Devil Scorpion Fish Deep-sea dwellers often showcase the most otherworldly forms of camouflage. Running down its back, within the dorsal fin, is a row of venomous spines. The Devil Scorpion Fish, found in the depths of the ocean, employs a combination of cryptic coloration and appendages that resemble algae-covered rocks. Its extraordinary ability to mimic its surroundings allows it to ambush unsuspecting prey with unparalleled precision. Number 6. Decorator Crab The decorator crab epitomizes the concept of living camouflage. Sometimes also known as spider crabs, approximately 75% of the species in the family decorate their shells and legs with plants and animals to help them avoid and ward off predators. This resourceful creature adorns itself with bits of seaweed, sponge, and other marine debris to create a moving disguise. By incorporating elements from its environment, the decorator crab becomes nearly indistinguishable from the surrounding seafloor, serving as a remarkable example of nature's inventiveness. Number 5. Eastern Screech Owl Even the avian world is not devoid of masterful camouflage. The eastern screech owl is found in North America. It lives east of the Rocky Mountains in the United States, with small populations in eastern Canada and Mexico. The eastern screech owl, with its mottled plumage in shades of gray and brown, seamlessly merges with the tree bark it perches on. Its compact size and intricate patterns make it nearly invisible during the daytime, allowing it to avoid detection by potential threats. Number 4. Pygmy Seahorse Venturing into underwater realms, 
we encounter the pygmy seahorse, a tiny marvel of disguise. Pygmy seahorse was discovered accidentally in 1969 on a Gorgonian coral being examined and was the first pygmy seahorse species to be discovered. Pygmy seahorses grow to an average size of 0.55 to 1.06 inches that they grow to a maximum length 0.94 inches. With its ability to match the color and texture of its host coral, this creature becomes nearly imperceptible to predators. Its diminutive size and uncanny mimicry make it a true champion of underwater concealment. Number 3. Leaf-tailed Gecko Leaf-tailed geckos have long, flat bodies with triangular heads and broad, leaf-like tails. The giant leaf-tailed gecko, or common flat-tailed gecko, is one of the larger species. Rainforests conceal some of the most astounding camouflage experts, such as the leaf-tailed gecko. Sporting a tail that resembles a decaying leaf, this gecko merges seamlessly with the foliage, evading the watchful eyes of both predators and prey. Its cryptic appearance underscores the intricate connections between adaptation and survival. Giant leaf-tailed geckos inhabit humid, intact forests in lowlands and at elevations of 800 meters. Number 2 Leaf Insect Leaf insects are well camouflaged, taking on the appearance of leaves. They do this so accurately that predators often are not able to distinguish them from real leaves mimicking the foliage it dwells upon. The leaf insect is a testament to the power of deceptive appearance. They occur from South Asia through Southeast Asia to Australia. Its body structure and intricate patterns imitate leaves in various stages of decay, making it appear as an extension of the plant itself. This extraordinary mimicry allows the leaf insect to avoid predators that roam the forest floor. Number 1. Leptocephalus in the depths of the ocean, the leptocephalus, the larvae of eels and other fish, showcase an ethereal form of transparency. These ribbon-like creatures are nearly invisible in water due to their gelatinous bodies and minimal pigmentation. Leptocephali differ from most fish larvae because they grow to much larger sizes, five, and have long larval periods of about three months to more than a year. Their translucent nature grants them a degree of concealment that reflects the mysterious allure of the deep sea. Leptocephali are poorly understood, partly because they are very fragile and eat particulate material instead of zooplankton. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel. Stay awesome until next video.